Despite all of the failures we've seen from Disney Star Wars over the past decade, despite fans continuing to walk away from this brand, walk away from Lucasfilm after they've been told time and time again, this wasn't made for you. There are shockingly still some people, maybe only numbering in the dozens, but still some people that have faith that Star Wars can return to its former glory. Well, there's one movie that's coming out that even those people that have this false hope in Disney Star Wars... Even they aren't excited for it, and that's the Ray movie. The Ray movie that was announced at Disney Star Wars Celebration, the movie that nobody wants, the Ray movie, the one starring Daisy Ridley, the one that absolutely nobody was asking for, that nobody wants, that should be the next Star Wars movie that comes out. And the director finally spoke out for the first time in quite some time on CNN the other day. And again, for any people that think that Disney Star Wars is going to change directions, I plead, I beg, please watch this video and watch what she has to say. And you will realize that this person, the director, Charmino Boyd Chinoy, who is heralded as being the first woman and the first person of color to direct a Star Wars movie, this thing is going to be all about agenda. Here's the quote from director Charmino Boyd Chinoy on her upcoming New Jedi Order movie. Quote, I'm very thrilled about the project because I feel what we're about to create is something very special. And we're in 2024 now, and it's about time we had a woman come forward to shape a story in a galaxy far, far away. Holy fuck. Already. The, the, the only thing she said about this, keep in mind, what she said initially when this happened was, again, about agenda and all about the forces female. Her film's part of a critical mass of women who have begun to move forward in places that were previously closed to them. This is the only thing of note about you. You're not a fucking Star Wars fan. You don't give a fuck about Star Wars. You're a fucking activist, a self-described activist, a documentarian. That's what this person is. And their, her movie is going to be all about agenda. Let's just watch this CNN clip and you guys can get a good idea for yourselves why she's so excited to be in Star Wars. Our next guest is an inspiration to women all over the world, including her home country of Pakistan. Filmmaker and activist Sharmin Obechinoy is the only female director to have won two Academy Awards by the age of 37. Oh my gosh, incredible. As a documentarian, not making movies, not, not making big time movies like she's about to do with the Ray movie, but instead documentaries. Okay, well, there you go. Congratulations. She's also the first woman and the first person of color to direct a Star Wars film. It's set to be released in 2026. You can say that the force is strong with this one. Jesus. Here's Charmino Bechinoy. You know, I'm very thrilled about the project because I think um, what we are about to create is something very special. Hold on. I just I just want to make she's standing there with John Favreau, with Kathleen Kenny, with Dave Filoni, with Leslie Headland. Let's keep in mind, Dave Filoni, his big new responsibilities, his big promotion, the responsibilities he's had for years at Lucasfilm, by the way, it was already in his job description. He's part of this. He's overseeing this. So what you end up seeing on screen for the Ray movie? Dave Filoni signed off on that, just like he's signed off on the Acolyte stuff, just like he's done for years, consulted on the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. That's Dave Filoni. Just wanted to remind everybody of that. And we're in 2024 now, and I think uh, it's about time that we had a woman uh, come forward uh, to shape the story in a galaxy far, far away. When the so, all right, what does that mean, right? Are you talking about, like, a female director to come forth? A woman to craft the narrative in a galaxy far, far away? Kathleen Kennedy's been in charge of Lucasfilm for over a decade now, right? I mean, I believe, right? 2024, uh, let's see, Star Wars was sold in 2012. Over a decade, Kathleen Kennedy's been in charge of Lucasfilm. So even from a storytelling perspective, the people that are in charge of this, Kathleen Kennedy's been right there. Charmino Boyd Chinoy, you activist. Uh, but if you mean... From the female perspective, in terms of the Ray movie, like Daisy really being the lead character, have you also not been around for the past decade of Disney Star Wars where they decide to double, triple, and quadruple down on female empowerment on the forces female? And instead of just telling good stories, instead agenda driven storytelling that drove the fans right away and led to a decade of disaster for this brand. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's let her talk a little more, I guess. Star Wars announcement came out. You posted this on Instagram. You said this, you know, quote, I have always been attracted to the hero's journey and the world definitely needs more heroes. The blueprints of the heroes we see on screen 
are rooted in reality, unquote. Now, Charmaine, as an award-winning documentary filmmaker, you have met and profiled many real-life heroes, heroes fighting abuse, fighting violence against women. Is there one real-life hero you met? And, she, and then she goes and talks about some of the people she's interviewed in your documentaries. And yeah, congratulations. I'm glad you feel passionate about that work, about doing documentaries about, you know, women, especially like in Muslim countries that maybe have been abused or taken advantage. Yeah, congratulations. That's fantastic. What the fuck about this qualifies you to do a Star Wars movie? Uh, the answer is absolutely nothing. I'm glad you're inspired by this woman who helps women in other parts of the world, in Pakistan or wherever, stand up for themselves. This is going to be a fucking nightmare. I cannot wait. There's a couple projects of Star Wars that I'm highly, highly anticipating. And that is The Acolyte, because I know it's going to be a dumpster fire, and The Ray movie, because I also know it's going to be a dumpster fire. As long as you have people, as long as you continue to hire activists that aren't actually interested in telling entertaining stories for everybody, but only in peddling their specific brand of identity politics or activism you will continue to fail. Disney Star Wars still has not learned this lesson after a decade of failure, and it's only going to get worse. I cannot wait for this shit show. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.